Hi everyone, this is the second part of my art haul and here I'm gonna show you the portrait that I painted after receiving the old sticks that I showed you in the previous video. I got this wooden box to store all my nail pastels and I even began to organize them by color but I quickly realized that they wouldn't fit all in one line and that it was basically pointless but at least you get to see the color range that I have. Turns out that I have many more sticks than I thought I did and so I'm quite glad that I didn't buy the full set. I feel like I already have more than I need and I even kept outside of the box uh, separately to store a few that are almost duplicates because I find that sometimes having less choices makes things easier when it comes to painting and at least for me when I have too many colors I either spend too much time choosing them for each piece or I end up using the same ones over and over. I like the final result, but I think I may like it better at this stage, with looser strokes and looking more like a sketch. I keep thinking all the time that I should try to use oil pastels for more simple sketches, but I always end up getting carried away with details and applying paint more thickly. It's very hot at the moment and they feel creamier than they did during winter time but they are still much less messy than the other ones that I have which I appreciate. I find that with nail pastels I have to apply a thicker coat of paint in order to be able to blend easily with my fingers but I still find myself using a paper stamp more often because this makes my hand less sore. Somehow they move less than the other brands that I have, so it's easier to manipulate the paint if I have a large area to do it maybe with my paper stamp instead of my finger. It's something that I still have to try and I don't know how they behave with other papers. Maybe with a very smooth one it would be a lot easier to move the paint around, but I don't know yet. I normally use a lot of white, but in the nail pastel range they have a very pale yellow that is really nice and that I use instead for most of the painting, especially for the skin. I really like it and I wish more brands had colors like this that are very pale and not too bright and also darker but desaturated tints. I would rather blend less than more if I could choose. I didn't want to mix brands for this video or for this test, but I think the Sennelier oil pastels and maybe even Paul Rubens, I, I don't know, I haven't tried, but it seems to me that the Sennelier sticks help nail pastels blend better or just much more easily as if they were melting the paint itself, kind of, as if you were using some sort of medium. So when I'm back, I think, I will try combining them with the translucent stick and I will report back. Somehow I think that should make the blending a lot easier or faster. I don't find it difficult to do, it's just I need to apply more pressure or maybe wrap for a bit longer. So once I try the translucent stick I will let you know, but I think it will work well. I never felt the need to use it within their own range, that's the Sennelier because they blend without even trying. I have some hopes, but I don't have it here with me, so I will have to wait. But overall, I'm really happy with the nail pastels that I got, the colors that I have, how clean they feel, almost, how they apply. ¿Qué ha pasado, cariño? En el dedo. A ver. No sé qué es mosquito. ¿Te, ¿Te ha picado un mosquito en el dedo? Sí. A ver, déjame ver. Sí, es muy fuerte. No, no, no puede ser. ¿Qué es esto? No lo sé. ¿Estás aquí, Pupa? Te voy a ver. 
una abeja no creo. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I think I was praising my pastels. They are different, but I'm very happy that I have them. I especially like how they look when you apply them thinly. They almost look like soft pastel on pastel mat. I love that. It goes away as soon as you apply more coats or you apply them pressing harder because there is more paint. But that first coat or two that is light and you can see some of the texture of the paper, it looks so nice. Mm. Even though I never keep it, um, I, I like how it looks. I tried using an exacto knife to create individual hairs on the eyebrows and for the eyelashes, as well as for lifting. I don't think it's a must-have tool for oil pastel painting, but I like to have it around. I always end up using it, especially for sharpening and to correct mistakes. I'm looking forward to try them some more, especially on different papers and for sketches, because not all paintings are meant to be a final big piece or anything, and it will get very expensive to use only this type of paper. I think they are very nice paints. I, uh, I'm super happy that I got them, definitely. I love the colors and yeah, I'm very glad that I didn't get the full set. I think that would be more overwhelming than anything else. And I like the fact that I can carry them with me in this little box set. I like it, I like it a lot. I'm happy with the paints, I'm fine with the painting and I don't think I have a lot more to say and I should be heading downstairs already so have a nice day and see you soon, bye bye!